Well, it seems just about everything these days has a USB port. Mm -hmm. You just plug things into your computer and download your preferences. But someday the houses that we live in, the cars we drive, are all going to be plug and play and adaptable to you and how you want them to be. It sounds a little bit sci-fi, but MIT is actually working on this. Fox 25's AJ Burnett has a sneak peek into how you may be living in the future. We just recently crossed the threshold where half the people in the world live in cities. And that, that trend will just continue. And living in cities isn't always convenient. The issue is becoming space, yeah, how, how to house people, how to create workplaces for people, and how to move people between places. The creative minds at MIT are trying to solve that dilemma by building an almost Jetson-esque home of the future. Right now, buildings are this complex, entangled system. One of their plans is to build housing complex kind of like computers are built, starting with something called a chassis. Chassis is the basic structure of the building, the enclosure of each apartment, and the mechanicals, the basic mechanical infrastructure, which would be the heating and the cooling and the lighting and the sprinklers. Everything else about the setup of the living area, the walls, fixtures, and furniture can be adaptable to how you want it and would all simply plug into the space, allowing you to make your office by day transform into a dining room by night. You can have transformable elements so uh, desk surfaces pop up and your employees can come in during the day and you run a small design office with eight employees. You can have um, a table pop out of the wall to accommodate four or twelve people for a dinner party in that larger space. By doing that it allows you to have eight hundred square feet less. Well Boston prices are about a thousand dollars a square foot. So you're saving eight hundred thousand dollars by living in half the space. Better for the planet and if you can get the same functionality um, by adding uh, more sophisticated systems for far less than the cost of that additional space. Building a home based on a customizable chassis is just one application. You see, that same concept could be used to build the cars of the future. Not a fan of parallel parking? Well, MIT's city car might just be the answer. This is a half-scale prototype of, of the city car, uh, which is a fully electric vehicle. It's what we almost call an electronic vehicle, just like you're saying, the vehicle boots up instead of turning on the ignition. Mm -hmm. And we've completely redesigned the architecture of it from a traditional vehicle. Uh, as you can see right now, it doesn't really look uh, like a normal vehicle, but that's because it's in its folded position. Oh, okay. And that's something we've designed to help save parking space. And you can actually fit three of these in one regular parking spot. And this car even takes some of the pain out of that dreaded flat tire, since many of the car's components simply plug in to get you back on the road quickly. No, your your downtime is completely is is almost gone. You just take off a, a broken unit, send that one off to be diagnosed, put on a new one, and because of that modularity, where you have a standard interface, you can imagine uh, it creates new opportunities. So in time, you may be driving in your specialized car and living in your customized home both changeable to adapt to your changing needs. A.J. Burnett, Fox 25 News. You like that, George Jetson. I thought it was pretty cool yeah, stuff right you there. You did, I know. I like, I like watching you looking forward. at that. Yeah, all right. MIT telling us they're now studying the movements of people as they live in different homes to eventually come up with a computer program that would make suggestions to you based on your choice of home layout. As we mentioned, pretty interesting stuff. <laughs> For more information, log on to myfoxboston.com. Click on Special Reports.